What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. For today's video, I'm back with another Stock Talk video. And for today's Stock Talk video, we're going to be talking about Plug Power, ticker symbol P-L-U-G. And if you haven't already, follow me on my TikTok at Lock Finance. I'll leave it in the description below, as well as my completely free Discord, where I'll teach you how to train the stock market. Both of those links will be down in the description below. So today, we're going to be talking about Plug Power. Plug Power is an American company that does hydrogen fuel cell systems as well as works with powered electric vehicles. And if we take a look at Plug Power back here in August, all the way until our highs of $75 and back to where we are now, they've had quite the run up. About 1400% since early summer of last year up until our highs of $75 where we had multiple deals being made, multiple price target boosts, and overall a lot of bullish sentiment with this company in the future. That caused massive run ups, overall upward direction, and huge spikes everywhere. And then we stabilized for a while before hitting our highs of $75 and then overall pulled back with the whole market and then had some bearish sentiment from that and just had overall downtrends from there. There were some negative catalysts, including this one that we got yesterday. And in this video, we're going to talk about why plug power dropped so much after hours yesterday, what this means for the stock in the future, as well as new price targets. So plug power closed yesterday around $42, but after hours was shocked with big news and dropped all the way down to $32 at market open this morning. But then ended up bouncing back and finishing today at around $39. So overall, today was a pretty strong day for Plug with lows this morning all the way to where we finished today. That's around 20%. So let's talk about what happened. Plug Power announced that they found accounting errors and results from 2018, 2019, and the first three quarters of 2020. This means that Plug Power is going to have to go back and restate these results from those years. Now, as of right now, that's a short-term negative catalyst. As you can see here, we dropped hard on this news, but recovered very nicely. Now, I'm not saying we're going to have a complete recovery and go back to all-time highs anytime soon, but this was definitely a nice bounce in the right direction. This was an overreaction catalyst as of right now because there's no actual negative news that came out about the stock. Yes, they're going to have to restate some of these values and these numbers in the reports, but that doesn't mean that it's going to change the future production. As of right now, Plug Power is still expected to hit revenue of $466 million this year, $715 million in 2022, and by 2024, Plug Power is expected to post $1.7 billion in annual revenue. That's a huge jump within just the next couple years. And with the company going back to account and restate their numbers, it's going to be interesting to see if that changes their future projections. But as of right now, there's no news that they will change their future projections. I saw a really bullish comment the other day by Jeffrey Osborne, a New York State-based analyst from Cohen. He said that anytime a company needs to restate results, investors shoot first and ask questions later. And that is very true for any overreaction type catalyst like this. Even if you're long-term with the company, a lot of people got scared yesterday because of this news. And this was only an announcement that they were going to go back and restate their accounting values, which were errors. This never noted any big major change to the company for the future as of now. Now, yes, another negative catalyst may come out in the future because of the way that they're going to have to change their numbers from the past. But who knows? We still don't have any news about that. But because of the way that everyone overreacts, this stock dropped massively and then recovered today. And the fact that this stock basically regained about 75% of where they were yesterday after close with that news, that just shows and proves to you that every reaction is an overreaction in this stock market. And lastly, we're going to be talking about new price targets for the company because there were a lot of downgrades, but we're going to talk about them again. A lot of companies have downgraded their price targets from the mids to upper 60s, now to around $40, $42, $45. So you know what? Maybe the company was a little higher hyped up for the short term. They did run up massively and they held that $60 range for a while, broke out into highs, but I think they got hyped up a little bit too much. But this doesn't really consider them to be a pump and dump, which some people are expecting this to be. Price targets have now been lowered to a more acceptable and more achievable number. And I think once this short term catalyst goes away and they restate their numbers, they make sure that everything's okay and they go through and keep their projections for the future, this is still a great clean energy stock to have in your portfolio. And I'd consider this as a buy the dip if you're able to average down at this point right now. And it was just an overall nice way to trade today. If you would have gotten in around confirmation here and validated out up here, you would have got a nice trade. But if you're looking for more of the long-term perspective of this, I see this as a great buying the dip opportunity and a great stock to have in your portfolio if you're looking for a clean energy type stock. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have any questions or what you think about this stock. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Don't forget to check out my TikTok and Discord down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.